Reddit by Reddit Recap. College students graduates of Reddit. What's the craziest thing you ever witnessed in your dorm residence hall? NSFW. My dorm had a secret Santa thing where your Santa would give you a task to do. And if you completed it, you'd get a gift. In the packed dining hall one night shortly before Christmas break. A huge, hairy, completely naked man jumps onto a table. Tucks his junk between his legs. And screams daddy only likes me when I'm a little girl. My roommate was his Santa. And as a reward for completing the task, she gave him a teddy bear wearing overalls. One day I woke up to a sink sitting in the hallway. Like a sink that is built into a countertop or something. Someone must have just ripped a sink out of a countertop. From a different building. And put it in the hallway. On the fourth floor. Ah here. Seen some it. But the worst was when I was a freshman I had this roommate. Mike. Mike was a redhead. Came from money. Parents bought him a decently nice car at 16. He modified the it out of it. He thought he was the it and he could do anything he wanted. One night, Mike decides he's gonna get very drunk. Maybe take some pills. At some point during the night. For a reason we still don't know. He decided he did not like the plate glass window in the hallway of our dorm. So he dropped his shoulder and plowed into it. Spider wed the entire thing. At some point later that night. He wanted to talk to some people we knew on a balcony down the hall. Instead of walking down the hall and into their room. He opened a window and had butted the screen out so he could lean out and yell at them. At some point later in the night he did sugar and I woke up to a bunch of my duct tape to the wall of our room guy I knew used to hook up with girls and then throw their clothes into the hall outside his room. Then lock them out of his room. Making them get dressed in the hall in front of whomever was around. I think he works for Comcast now. Which fits. So last winter in Boston there was about 102 of snow over the winter. Being college kids, we proceeded to build an igloo on the roof of our dorm and proceeded to hotbox it. Good times. One time. My roommate and I hatched quails in our dorm room. We started out with growing plants, then breeding better fish, and from there we kind of escalated to birds. Ordered a cheap incubator and the eggs online, and kept it in the corner of our room without having any real hope that any of them would hatch. Three of them did, somehow, and they lived in our dorm room for a whole year without the raw finding out. Helps that they only grow to be about 3 inches tall. One of my friend's girlfriends had a roommate that would masturbate almost every night. She said it sounded like someone vigorously stirring macaroni. I remember this story every time I cook macaroni. Freshman year I had a gay roommate. Let's call him Wally. We got along pretty well. We had different social circles but they overlapped a bit so we would hang out on occasion. Wally had games. Dude would bring guys back a fair amount and six aisle me but that was fine cause I did the same to him and that's just how it works right? But eventually. He found a boyfriend. I figured that meant more a six aisling for me. But oddly enough. Wally's boyfriend would stay over every now and then but Wally would never text me to ask if I wouldn't mind bailing for a half hour or whatever. Then one night. One fateful night. I awoke to the sound of a creaking bed. And there it was. Wally having butt sex with his boyfriend. Apparently they'd been banging while I was asleep for months. And being a relatively deep sleeper. I was none the wiser. But there it was. My very own broke back mountain. Oh did I mention that his boyfriend had the same name as me. And when I awoke to find Wally plowing him. Wally just happened to be moaning his boyfriend's name. My name. TL. Doctor I woke to my roommate moaning my name while he gave to his boyfriend dorgy style. Boarding school here. MP3. Phones etc. Were prohibited. But a few people, including me, still had them. One of them was caught and expelled and all the charging points were covered up. There was one uncovered socket left. But it was 18 feet above ground. And was for a big appliance. The solution we came up with was to steal stuff from the physics lab and make a voltage regulator. Then make two stacks of three people standing on top of each other. The top two guys worked the wires. And got us a connection. 
one stack went up every day for almost a week before we were able to get a wire extender with a socket and get a permanent connection. It is still the craziest most innovative thing that I have personally witnessed. A bunch of guys in my hall collected some masks and dangerous looking items, pocket knives mostly. I think someone had a saw for some reason, and pretended to have tied a dude to a chair with a bag over his head, ketchup for fake blood and everything. They spent half the night on chat roulette with a sign that said tits or he dies. They didn't actually get any tits, but people's reactions were pretty great. That and the time one of the engineers dented a wall by firing a custom nerf gun he'd built down the length of the hall are my only really crazy stories. Lived in a 21 floor tower. Something like 1600 students lived in it. Four guys decided to have a jam session in an elevator and go up and down the building had drums, guitar, saxophone, and vocalist. I think every single floor wanted to murder them. We had a dude moved onto our hall because his roommate was eating and pissing in the corner of his room. Guy down the hall was just nasty. Smelled bad. Slovenly. But very friendly. He never went to class. You might be thinking gamer. But nope he was a day trader. Always told us about his wins losses for that day. Anyway. This was before mobile devices. And he hardly ever left his computer as a result. Traded in movements of pennies. So he had milk jugs to pee in. He told us proudly about how much time he saved by peeing in milk jugs. I presumed he dumped them out routinely, but the first time I caught sight of his room I learned the truth. It was as messy as you'd imagine. But then I saw the jugs. All over his room. The floor. Windowsill. Computer desk. My memory is hazy by now. But I'd say he had at least 21 gallon milk jugs full of piss in his room. To be fair I couldn't verify that they were all actually full or just waiting in reserve. But at a glance at least some of them were clearly topped off. And honestly, how many gallons of piss is really acceptable to keep in your room? One guy peed on a cookie sheet and let it freeze outside in winter. He took said frozen sheet of pee and slid it under another guy's door when he wasn't there. All the rooms in that dorm were carpeted. One naked drunk dude jumped through first floor window as in broke the window with his bare skin. Two things, same dude. We had a guy whose room was at the end of the hall so it had a little extra space next to his door. A little alcove. We had tour groups come through our dorm with prospective students and their families. Well on one of those days he tore out a bunch of pics from his playboys and posted them all over his door and on the walls outside his room. He took three chairs from the common room and put them outside his room as well. He then had a sign that said the itches and hose waiting room. A mother went absolutely ballistic when she saw that. He got in too deep it for it too. A few months later when another tour group came through. R.R. Bill. Who was a total asshole. Was giving kind of a speech to the high schoolers and their families. So our buddy fell out of his room and just his boxes and his hands tied behind his back with a sock in his mouth. He spit the sock out and started yelling Bill. Untie any. This ice and funny. RR was humiliated. The parents went absolutely nuts over it. Our buddy was kicked out later that day. I was in Ra. I had 8 residents trap a raccoon and bring it into their dorm to domesticate it. Guess what happens when you let a raccoon in the dorm? It ducks it up. A guy that was wasted and tripping balls went into the wrong room in the middle of the night and was thrown out of said room. Across the hall and through the wall in two mild room. Turns out there had been a giant hole there that was cheaply patched up years ago. Otherwise there should have been no way he could have gone straight through the wall. It was a cold night. But my roommate and I pushed S dresser up to attempt to cover the hole until someone could fix it. Good times. I was a sophomore at University of Iowa. On the engineering dorm. The problem was that the main cafeteria of the campus was downstairs. So drunk people would get confused and wander to it even though it was closed. Then start having fun on other floors. It was Saturday night and pretty miserable outside so most people were staying in. When we heard a scream. Then a loud crack. When we checked on it. There was nobody in the hallway. There was. However. A large smear of blood along the wall. And the exit sign was broken. One of the guys decided to investigate and found a huge guy in the bathroom. 
bleeding from the face and drunk. Turns out he had the brilliant idea of running down the hallway, leaping into the air, and headbutting the exit sign. Edit, since a few Hawkeyes have asked. Yes it was Burge. The slip and slide we had on the ground floor was pretty epic but probably not as epic as this one girl. For some reason she decided to duck 12 guys on her floor and turn the peephole backwards. Reverse peephole sign Feld style for everyone to see. I'm fairly confident she didn't graduate. Pull up a chair. It's story time. Across the hall from me lived Ron and Todd. Not their real names. But who cares. They were. Not a good match. Ron was basically a fat hippie. And Todd was on the football team. The funny thing about was that it was Todd who drove Ron crazy. Not the other way around. Todd basically didn't care about Ron's and ticks. But Ron couldn't stand sharing his dorm room with a straight edge. So after a few months. Ron cooks up a plan to get Todd out of the room. And this is how it goes down. Based on Todd's story about what actually happened. One night. Middle of the night. Todd wakes up. The blinds in the room have been pulled open. And it's light enough to see in the room. Ron is standing in the middle of the room. Naked. Painting a huge mural on the wall that has the door on it. As Ron moves from area to area to paint. He skips and quietly sings to himself. Ron also paints himself. Little paint for the wall. Little paint for Ron. After 5 plus minutes of watching this scene from his bed with growing disbelief and horror. Todd says something. And Ron turns slowly to face Todd. Skips over to Todd's bed. Kisses Todd full on the lips. And says go back to sleep Todd. You're dreaming. Todd is just sleepy enough to find this somewhat convincing. So he rolls over. Also. What else is he going to do? Fight his naked. Paint covered roommate. The next morning. Todd wakes up. And there's no mural anywhere in the room. No paint on the floor. No paint on any of Ron's bed clothes. And Ron is fast asleep in his bed. Wearing a shirt. Todd wakes Ron up and asks if anything. Odd was going on in their room last night. Ron replies that he had a chem test that wiped him out. So he just came straight home and went to bed and had been asleep until Todd woke him up. So now Todd doesn't know what the funk to think. But the best answer appears to be that he had a homoerotic dream about his roommate being a painting satyr. So Todd nopes the duck out of the dorm room and gets reassigned. It made no sense to the rest of us either. Until much later when we were having a beer in Ron's room. He asked us if we wanted to see something cool. Sure. We did. So he shut off all the lights and then turned on a lamp hidden near his bed. With a black light. All of a sudden. A massive glowing mural appeared on the wall with the door on it and all over Ron's sheets and comforter and Ron just started laughing his full ass off and that's how Ron got a room to himself best comment of the day we had a guy freshman year who was super rich and ran a drug cartel on our floor the kicker is he didn't make profit off the pot he was selling he gave it away for free oh but wait there's more he had a female friend that would come to his room we were all convinced she was some kind of prostitute and she was always getting money slash pot from him oh and he gave the entire floor condoms and poked holes in them i'm not joking and one day he snapped and smashed his 1500 dollar macbook on the wall and we got a video of it god i miss freshman year